All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Hound. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm your host for this video. I'm your host for every video for that, all that matters. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Today's highlight, we are going to be looking at candy half dollars. And specifically, we're looking for one particular date that, believe it or not, might actually be worthwhile trying to cherry pick. You know, it's not like we're talking about a variety or something that that's like one in a million. I'm not saying that. Actually, the variety is quite common. It's easy to find. However, what it really boils down to is going to be, I guess, grade to a certain extent. But there's a number of different grades that are worth a lot of money for this particular date. You certainly want to keep an eye out and uh, check out this video. But before we get started, exciting news. I received a few pieces for the upcoming Friday What Not Coin Auction live stream. Again, we're no doing another blockbuster US type auction uh, to go along with the bevy of silver. As you guys know, silver is sky high right now. Uh, coin dealers and big online retailers are seeing a lot of empty emptiness you know and uh it's been uh very very difficult to grab a hold of any of this stuff at affordable prices so we did receive a few pieces for this upcoming show including this beautiful 2021 type one silver eagle as you can see it's got the old reverse on there uh, this is actually a first day of issue, emergency issue, graded by PCGS in their OGH old green holder 35th anniversary um, uh, slab, or it's more or less just the label on there. Um, so yeah, struck at Philadelphia. I think they only made 1 million pieces. It's a very limited, uh, limited issue for the emergency um, issues. Um, but looking forward to auctioning off this one as you guys know i start everything at a dollar whatever it sells for it sells for so come check it out i'm gonna have the link to the stream or yeah to the stream down below uh, again it's gonna be this friday 5 p.m pacific standard time eight o'clock p.m eastern standard time i finally got it right this time uh, but if you think that's exciting all right we also received a few of these bad boys look at this thing talk about talk about scarce this is one of my giveaways for this friday and yeah it's another silver eagle it's a 2023 type 2 sample slab vault box slab and uh, many thanks to uh, Blake Donan at Vaultbox, uh, the gentleman that I did the interview with the other day. If you haven't seen that video, we're talking about Series 2, which is dropping this April 19th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys are looking to pick up one of those vault boxes, some pretty big things are coming out of these, and this one is not going to disappoint. So go ahead and go to the website vaultbox.com. Go ahead and uh, put in your, um, go ahead and open up and register your own account. Put in your information for the upcoming release. You could do uh, by email and text message for the notifications. But Mr. Donan gave us a few of these. We're going to give one away this Friday. These things are rare. I, I don't know how much these things are worth, but a lot, a lot of money. Sample slabs are pretty well collected in the hobby. Um, so one of these this week, another one next Friday on our um, uh, subsequent show coming up. All right, let's go ahead and jump in to what you guys are here for. 1964 Kennedy half dollar. That's the date that we're focused on, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys have been keeping an eye out on the Kennedy half dollar market, but it has been bonkers to, to, to say the least. A lot of high end registry set pieces have been selling for ridiculous amounts of money. High graded specimens. We have a 70D. Of course, we saw the 64 here. We'll get to that here in a moment. Not all coins are created equal, and there's a specific coin you guys are going to be looking for if you want the opportunity to make a killing 
on a specific coin. So stay tuned. Uh, we also have, let's see, another 64, this time an accented hair uh, quadruple die reverse. That's a unique coin right there. This one sold for $5,700. And these are all recent sales within the last 90 days. A 1977 business strike in Mint State 68 ended up selling for 5700 79D, again, Mint State 68. That seems to be the grade to look out for, for uh, business strike unk coins. 1990, who would have thought that this date would even be on the list? That one sold for nearly four grand. 2010D, ladies and gentlemen, an NIFC coin ended up selling for $3,600. We even have a beautiful, crazy looking error here. Uh, an 85D with some toning, $3,200. 87D, I mean, I mean, just check out the market. It, it's, it's deep. I could keep on going on and on. Toners, more business strikes, various dates. It seems to me that there are one or two deep pockets registry set people who are getting into candy half dollars for the first time. And they are really not disappointing anybody. These things have been selling off the charts. And then we have the 50th anniversary golds as well, making a huge impact. All right, so getting back to the coin that I think you guys need to be uh, paying closer attention to and looking out for is going to be the 1964 Accented Hair Proof Half Dollars. You're only going to find these in proof sets. And... Uh, Again, when we're talking about proof set coins, they're struck at such a high quality. So a lot of them are going to grade out proof 66 and higher, you know, maybe even higher than that. Um, now, we're kind of like where that rubber meets the road is, is going to be the highest grade, number one. Number two, cameo designation. So we need to find uh, coins that have a nice white frosty devices on there. So the letters, Candy's profile, the heraldic eagle on the reverse, these are all gonna be important things to be on the lookout for. Now, what's kind of involved in all of this is really concentrating your searches simply on 1964 um, proof sets, right? You're probably asking yourself, well, how much are these things going for in the open market as far as proof sets go? I'm glad you asked. So I brought up completed sales of 1964 proof sets. Now there's 1,600 total results within the last 90 days. Here's a little bit of knowledge that you guys need to know, and it's going to be like eye-opening. There are nearly 4 million 1964 proof sets that were produced during this year. It's the highest minted proof set uh, up until you get up to the bicentennial age where 1976 proof sets with the bicentennial dual dates on all the coins there, um, that particular mintage is up to 7 million. So, um, you know, 1965 SMS, 1966, 67, you know, a bunch of the other dates between then all the way up to 1976 all have um, lower mintages, but they don't sell for nearly as much compared to the 64. Now, Granted, you do have 90% coinage. It's the final year of regular circulating 90% uh, composition coins from the half dollar, the quarter, and the dime. But the one that means the most to a lot of people is the half dollar because of being able to find the accented hair. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, what is an accented hair and how do I know that I have one? All right, so we're going to take a look at both strikes. We're going to look at a regular 1964 proof candy, and we're gonna look at the accented hair type. So there's no other better place to look for this other than PCGS.com. In addition, it's going to give us some, uh, some pretty important information as far as population numbers. You're gonna see that on the accented hair, there's three different lines here. You got regular proof, proof cameo, which is just kind of like a half cameo, and then a deep cameo, which exhibits the best frost offset by some of those black, mirrory, high quality fields on the coin. You're going to see that quite a few of, them, few of them have been graded over the years. Deep cameo is highly meaningful. These are coins that are traditionally going to command those five figure price tags. And even some of the highest grades like Proof 69 have been known to hit that fifty dollars to $90,000 mark. Uh, very, very 
uh, impactful kind of money for someone that finds these. Again, we're talking about a set that is generally accessible to a lot of folks, especially if you have a local coin shop, if you have shows that are nearby uh, that pop up, you know, on a regular occasion. You know, that's going to be your best bet in finding these. Plus, you know, most folks do have a 1964 proof set in their collection. So when we click into a regular proof, um, let's go ahead and take a look, <laughs> excuse me, at these coins. So that way you guys can understand what a regular proof coin looks like. And it's really all in the details. So... Uh, there is a great comparison photo um, from the normal hair and then underneath where my video uh, thumbnail is, it's, it says accented hair. And you'll notice on the normal hair compared to the accented hair, uh, the accented hair has a few more engraved lines in Kennedy's hair above his ear. Another thing to keep in mind uh, on these particular coins, when you look at the bottom serifs of the letter I on the normal coin, Compared to the accented here, you're going to see that the bottom left serif is stubbed off, okay? It's like non-existent on the coin. So when you see this letter I with the missing lower left serif on there, you're more than likely going to have an accented hair, okay? But there have been normal hair versions with a uh, stubbed off bottom serif, so you want to make sure that you kind of um, audit that with the accented hair. Again, it's like night and day because you're gonna have much better engraving on the accented hair coin. Uh, it's kind of like a mid-year change uh, during 1964. So kind of like if you're looking at both coins, um, they're, they're equal, just about equal in rarity. I would say it's about 60, 65% uh, to find regular normal hair coins and about another 30, 35% to find the accented hairs. So if you find yourself the accented hair, Congratulations, half of the work has been done. Now, typically, if you find an accented hair uh, coin in a proof set, like any one of these, like this, again, these are all selling for between $30 and $40 on the open market, um, you know, that's going to turn a, a, a proof set that is normally $30 to $40 into something that's $50 to $60. All right, so just on selling and flipping the raw proof set on its own, you're gonna make a little bit of money. Again, we're not here to just barely break even or make five, 10 bucks. You know me, you know, I like to kind of like swing for the fences and, uh, you know, do some damage and, uh, you know, make sure there's not nearly as much dirty work for you guys to uh, realize. So um, the proof sets are for affordable, they are, um, you know, considering what they have. Again, it's the most plentiful date of these coins and always look out for these wherever you may be. There's probably even, you know, if you're at a garage sale and uh, someone's selling coins, you might, ask, might as well ask them to see if they have other kind of like sets. And you never know when they're going to pull out some of these older proof sets like 64 and earlier. Um, so with the, uh, the accented ver versus normal hair, you know what to look out for, okay? So that's like half the work right there. Now, going back to the actual pop numbers, uh, let's go ahead and examine the um, the cameo and deep cameo contrast. Now, on a regular coin, these things have, have virtually no cameo. So they're all going to be relatively black like you see this one here, no frosting. You know, it's going to have maybe even a little light amount of frosting, but not a lot. Um, but same thing still applies. You're going to have the stubbed off letter I in Liberty, and then you're going to have the extra engraving lines above the ear in Kennedy's hair. All right, so when we look at the next wave, which are cameo coins, which are kind of like the middle, you know, it's got some pretty decent frost, but it's not super heavy. When you look at this particular coin right here that grades Proof 69 cameo, you could see the difference. You see more of the frosting on Kennedy's profile. You could see it more on the heraldic eagle on the reverse, and even on all the lettering and all of the text across the coin. Uh, so this is a, if you find something like this, congratulations, even more of the work is gonna be done for you. Now it's just gonna be a matter, okay, is this coin say, a cameo or a deep cameo, okay? You guys want to know what a deep cameo looks like? I mean, it is crazy looking. These things are sharp, and they look like they just 
literally came off the presses. Like this one right here is uh, the finest graded uh, Pro 69 deep cameo. I mean, you guys see how crazy this one is. Look at that. Look how jet black the fields are uh, because it's highly mirrored um, and it reflects virtually no light if you wanted it to. You know, if you took this picture in a controlled lighted environment, you could make it look like this pretty easily. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the coin that we're looking for. Ideally, this is going to be the one that's worth the most amount of money. So let's talk a little bit about expectation of grade, okay? Because you could find a deep cameo coin, but if it grades like a 65, okay, they're still worth money, but they're not worth as much as they could be. Like, take a look at a Proof 65 deep cameo. You know, you're looking about a 500 to about $900 coin. Um, here are a few like older listings. Great collections have one that sold it for seven fifteen back in 2014. Uh, but eventually, the more meaningful money is anything graded 66 and higher. You know, if you could find that 69 and it's super clean, man, that's gonna be a really wild coin right there. If we could go all the way to the end, um, you see it has a price guide value of $45,000. And that's kind of like a very, um, you know, it's a, it's like, a, uh, you know, kind of like a, on the low end, what you would expect. You see all these green arrows. This is a coin that's been gaining in popularity over the last 12 to 24 months. So that's the big reason why I'm, I'm giving you guys kind of like more attentive kind of information about this coin right now uh, than, say, a while ago, uh, because these things have been exploding in the marketplace um, but that's the deep cameo. So don't over overlook the cameo coins as well. In 69, there are 13 examples graded. All right, 68 plus, there are two. And then 68, um, 68, 148, quite a few of them. Uh, so let's see what the values are of this particular coin in those levels. And you're gonna see that, uh, you know, even in 67, it has value, you know, 400 bucks and up, uh, as long as you have that cameo contrast. But again, where it really matters is going to be the Proof 68s and 69s. Uh, that's going to be your wheelhouse. Uh, 68s are going to have a value of $1,700. 68 pluses are two grand, and then 69s are $3,850. All right, and that's with Cameo, so you got to make sure he has a Cameo contrast on there. Now, just for you know, just for giggles, you know, regular coins with no Cameo frost on them. Uh, these things would have to grade out 69, I believe, uh, for them to be worth uh, worth grading uh, for, uh, keep doing that, for a uh, accented hair. And uh, 69s have just under a thousand bucks, all right? Um, there have been like one at Heritage, sold for 960. Another one on Stax Bauer, sold for 500. In 2020, another one sold on Heritage for $3,100. So you see... Uh, 68 is kind of like that fine line drawn in the sand for grade that you need to realize. But the good news is, guess what? It's a proof strike. These things are high quality to begin with. So how are you going to prep these things into in anticipation for the grading process? Okay, if you find one in a proof set and it's got maybe a little bit of spotting on there, it would probably not hurt to do a quick little dip in some easy zest, e zest or something like that, like a flash dip. Right? We're talking like five seconds or less just to see if some of those spots disappear. Um, and then do do a, um, a suitable rinse with distilled water so that way you don't have water spots. Now, I don't typically say, yeah, go ahead and do this and clean your coins in that fashion uh, because using E-Zest is an acid. You know, it's it, it can, after a while, if you keep a coin in there, it's going to um, uh, corrode the original layer or skin of the coin, like the top surface of the coin. So you wanna make sure that you keep an eye out, you do quick little five, 10 second dips with this stuff, and um, you know, you're gonna be okay with it. But learn how to use it, don't get it on your hands because it's bad for you. Um, you know, it affects your nervous system and it does skin irrita irritation and damage, and you know, it could be bad. So, um, you know, that is the, Accented hair, 1964 Kennedy. This thing is hot right now. 
uh, I'm pretty. I, I'm. I know for a fact that there are a ton of 1964 proof sets that still haven't been looked at. So the, again, certainly worth doing so. Uh, but even deep cameo non-accented hair coins are very good. They're very good right now. They're selling for between two and three thousand dollars in proof 69. So, uh, again, another coin to be on the lookout for. Tons of value in that, you know, in, in all the different types of cameo designations or non cameo designations, proof 68 and up. And then when you get to deep cameo, you can afford to have that proof 66. But just make sure that you have the uh, accented hair. And in case you guys uh, need that, you know, what, what it looks like again, this is a comparison view. The normal coins on the left on screen, the accented hair is on the right. Look out for the stubbed off letter I in Liberty at the bottom serif on the accented hair coin. Uh, but yeah, pre pretty huge contrasting difference between one and the other. Um, so look out for this. See if you can find one. This is a high dollar coin. Um, and you don't necessarily need to be at the highest grade level to achieve that. Um, these things are absolutely amazing. I found a number of these. Uh, I even have one that's graded uh, Proof 68 Cameo that I'm very proud of. And it's a very expensive coin that I've held on to for uh, about 18 years. Uh, I'm not looking to sell it right away. Uh, but these things are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So go ahead and look out for these, make a boatload of money and have fun doing it uh, because these proof sets from 64 and under with 90% silver are a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and do it for this one. Again, I'll have the links down below for the $15 sign up referral bonus. Uh, on whatnot, uh, so that way you could use it on your first auction. Plus, I also have the link directly to my upcoming Friday auction where you could possibly win that vault box sample slab, which probably is worth about two to three hundred dollars. You know, it's just kind of a guess. I know it's crazy because it's like a silver eagle, uh, but it's a sample slab, and they're worth a lot more as a sample than they are with the coin in there. Um, and I also have a lot of good things so in case you've have, if you haven't heard, um, I have a Carson City Morgan dollar in the original GSA government packaging uh, that's graded by NGC. That will be starting at $1. That will be available for auction this coming Friday. That thing is going to be hot, boys and girls. Come on down. See if you can win that one for cheap. And um, it's got toning too. So it's, it's a monster. It's uh, probably the biggest coin I've sold on the platform since I started a month and a half ago. But I'm excited to do that. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in on this video on Accented Hair. Kennedy's a really big, high-value coin right now in this market. Go ahead and find you some and, and reap the rewards. All right, I'll see you guys later.